Hi, everyone. Can you see me? Can you hear me? Hey, yes, coach. Yes. Yeah. Okay, perfect. Okay. So, I'm so glad to see you again. Qué bueno verlos otra vez en clase. Um, tell me, how was your day? What about your day? How was your day, guys? ¿Cómo estuvo el día de hoy? Cuéntenme. It's good to see you again. <laughs> Qué bueno verles otra vez aquí en clase. So, what about your day? What did you do today? Guys, you there? Hi, teacher. Um, I'm fine, but I'm very tired because I I make different activities in my work and and finish my activity uh, until late, but. I'm fine and ready for to learn in this class. Okay, it sounds like a little exhausted day, but I I feel so good that you are ready for the class. Um, it was also a really hard day for me. I think I was like um I have been reading a lot, a lot this um these days because I have my final exams very soon. And I'm about to do it. And I'm trying like to study before because I have a lot to read. <laughs> um, I don't know, like, por eso estoy estudiando ciencias sociales. La verdad es que sí me gusta leer, but sometimes it's very tired. So I understand, Rodrigo, that you are tired too. What about the rest of you guys? How are you? How was your day? ¿Cómo estuvo su día? Cuéntenme. Hi, good evening. Hi. Good evening, teacher. Good to see you. Good to see you too. And good to hear you again. Hi, classmates. Good evening, everyone. Hello, I'm really sir. sorry. I'm really sorry. My apologize to everyone because I couldn't be part of the class uh, yesterday and Monday too. Mm -hmm. I was really busy. I have two meetings. In my job, I'm too late, so I couldn't be part of the class. I left my job around 10 p.m., so I couldn't be part of the class. But I'm here again, and thanks for your help. And I know that you miss me, maybe. Yeah, of course, we miss you. We always miss the people who left. Tell me, uh, but uh, did you did you see the, the last class, the, um, the video? ¿Vio la, la clase de ayer de casualidad? I'm really sorry to share. I'm, I returned today uh, around 6 p.m. And ah. I'm trying to update all the classes just right now because I was really busy. I had to go out of the, the city. So oh I have, I have, I be part, I, I went to another cities for two days. So, uh, because I had an important meeting with my boss in, oh. in yeah. So I, I returned to my house uh, today around 6 p.m. maybe. Okay. Yeah, I'm, and, I, and, I, and I am like Rodrigo because I had to travel uh, a long distance. Yeah. And I feel a little bit tired. But I took a shower just uh, 30 minutes ago and I feel to better. To be awake, I, <laughs> para despertarse. Yeah, yeah, I drink a cup of I drank a cup of coffee. Yeah, and, and it's better just today. But it's good to to hear you. It's good to see you once again. I miss every one of my classmates. I miss your teacher. And I seen that I'm a part of the group. And I just that I was thinking during the day uh, because I missed the class I, and I don't like to miss anyone. I know that I complete the the platform, but it's it's one way that I may 
one weeks ago, but the better is for me. That I think that is the class and yeah, to be part of the group. Mm -hmm. Yeah, but I promise you, I I will never miss once again. Okay, don't worry. Um, it's completely normal if you have to do another things like we are an adults. Uh, we don't have a lot of free time. Um, we have because we have to work, we have to study, or we have to do a lot of things in the in um around the day. So I understand if sometimes you can be here. Remember que para eso están como las video la, las video de las clases para que si en algún momento no pueden estar puedan tomar apuntes de lo que se hizo y lo que se dijo en la clase en las videos. So I understand if you are so tired, your your job sounds very very tired. I I can imagine like a go so far away and return and all of these things. It, It's so exhausted. Con que me sentía cansada cuando iba a la universidad, que no me queda muy lejos, no me imagino ir más lejos todavía. Um, yeah, I understand. So don't worry. We're going to have a little review about the topic that we started yesterday. So you can see um, the new tense. We're talking about a new tense right now that we are going to practice and to, today and tomorrow because I... Uh, I remember that we're going to start a new tense the other week. Me creo, no me acuerdo si es con ustedes, pero creo que sí que vamos a iniciar un nuevo tense la siguiente semana. Así que el de hoy tiene que quedar bien claro entre, entre ayer, hoy y mañana. So, um, nothing. Um, I'm so glad to see you again, Nazario. We all miss you. We all miss the people who wasn't here yesterday because it was like a, a little um, rainy day, rain, rain night. Um, and there was lightning and all of these things. So the internet was, um, so terrible with a lot of issues and we were like just a couple of ones. Solo como unos cuantos en realidad habíamos ayer porque no, no había como luz o les fallaba el internet. So a mí I no know. me falló, menos mal. <laughs> Pero, Thanks teacher. Yeah. Okay. And we're about to start. Solo permíteme un momento que me acabo de dar cuenta que la compus no está apagando. Permítame conecto el cargador. Permí. Okay, I think it's, yeah, it's ready. Uh, estuve a esto de que se me apagara la compu. No me he dado cuenta que no tenía carga. I'm so sorry. Your battery run out. Yeah, it's like a little bit um, rare again, right now. Rare. Yeah. <laughs> so, um, hey guys, we're going to start our class with the second part of the yesterday topic. Esta es como la segunda parte del topic de ayer. Hay algunos tens que siento que requieren como un poquito más de, um, de tiempo el llevarlos a cabo. Sí, tiempo. Um, en lo que se explica, lo que lo entienden y en lo que hacemos el, el, la práctica. So, um, quiero que este tema quede bastante claro porque es muy, muy usado en el inglés. Y pues es uno de los topics que tienen que aprender. Sobre todo los verbos en participio, no se les olvide la lista de verbos en participio. So I am showing up my screen now. Tell me when you can see it. Me avisan cuando la vean. Okay, can you see it? Yes. Yes. Yeah. Okay, so first of all, remember that we were talking about the present perfect yesterday. This is a new tense, okay? This is a new tense. We were talking about this uh, yesterday. We were doing some examples. Um, I gave you my own examples and my own questions. 
Um, and I explain why do we use it and what's the important thing when we are using the present perfect. Uh, use of the structure that is the same structure as the, the rest of the dances. And um, it's very easy when you know the verbs in participle. Remember that you have to understand, like more than understand, you have to memorize all the all the all the verbs. Hay como que no hay para dónde. Siempre los, los verbos son es algo que se tienen que prácticamente memorizar. Um, con la práctica, con la práctica se van aprendiendo. Ok, so la práctica es importante, don't forget it, la práctica es el maestro, así que mientras tengan oportunidades para participar en clase, do it, because you are improving your English, están mejorando su inglés cada vez, que abren su micrófono y ordenan todas sus ideas en inglés, todo eso es práctica, ok, so we're talking about the present perfect, first of all, first of this class, I need to know um, who remember what is present perfect or why do we use it? Quiero saber si alguien se acuerda qué es el presente perfecto y para qué se usa. You can raise your hand. <laughs> Ajá, las personitas que estuvieron presentes ayer, yo sé que no fueron muchas por la por el, por el internet, pero las personitas que estuvieron presentes ayer ¿Quisieran recordar qué es el present perfect y para qué se usa? Yo sé, it was clear. Me, me dijeron que estaba claro. So let me see how clear is it. ¿Y Nazario ya? Yeah? Well, to be honest with you, teacher, I don't have the, the rules just exactly in my mind, but I think that's present perfect uh, things that's happened uh, in a short time but continue during the present and the action is not it is it's not finishing uh, when we are talking about anything or about one thing during the past but the thing continue during the future Okay. I maybe I going. I I don't know. I don't. Ha, I don't have clear the idea. I I'm trying to organize all of idea that I have in my mind. My mind, but I I will show you uh, one exercise maybe, and mm -hmm. tell me if I am right or wrong. For okay. example, when I'm talking about anything, I want to give you one example. For example, uh, Julia has been to Paris. Okay. Uh, yeah, uh, of course, of course. Uh, yeah, that is a I good example it, of the present perfect. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Good job. Yeah, this this is the reason. I, I don't have clear the the, the 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 exactly rules, but I think that I have in my mind I'm uh -huh, trying to organize the organize the ideas about uh, the use of of present perfect. And okay. I have to use uh, have or has plus being according to the let me see what the right words uh, okay. the the construction the um, I forgot that this word in this moment okay but I think that this is the idea I think that I I, I, yeah. I have the idea very close you have do you have the idea in your mind I'm going to change a little bit about it le voy a cambiar un poquito la la como la manera en que lo dijo pero digamos yeah. que tiene la idea. You're very close. Maybe the idea is, is a little bit disaster. Yeah, yeah. You are trying to, to remember. <laughs> yeah. You're trying to remember. So your your brain is working right now and you're trying to find the correct Yeah, I, mean, just, I know, yeah. but I have to organize. I, I have to organize the idea. But in a, in a simple example, I tried to tell you everything that I told you maybe one or two minutes ago. Okay. Yeah, it was great. Um... Actually, your example was good. Okay, what's the correct way to use it as present perfect? Um, I'm going to, well, um, it was so brave that you can tell me about the present perfect. I I suppose that you heard about it or you practiced um, um, this dance before. 
And I would like to know about the rest of your classmates, el resto de sus compañeros, porque Nazario no estuvo ayer en clase. Quiero saber los que sí estuvieron en clase, alguien que me quiera decir para qué se usa el presente perfecto. Why do we use it? Yo le expliqué ayer como en palabritas. Pero a ver, tenemos a... Uh... Ay, se me fue alguien más. Rodrigo, Rodrigo. Ok, Rodrigo. Uh, yes, teacher. Uh, is for example, when I made a different activity, and for example, uh, start to study the last year, and in the present, I continue uh, study in the university. Um, only one example is, uh, for example, uh, I have drunk with my friend. Um, for example, the last year, uh, drunk with my friend. And in the present, I continue uh, drink with my friend. Uh -huh. you, continue, you continue drinking. <laughs> Yes, drink the coffee. Take, take, take care. Uh, take care, it's Rodrigo. About the drink. Yeah. yeah. Okay. <laughs> okay. Excellent. I'm sorry. <laughs> Me dio mucha risa, pero sí. Good example. Good example. Okay. Yeah. You have the ideas. You have the ideas. Okay. Thank you so much, Rodrigo and Nazario. You are doing great. Maybe I'm going to change a little bit about these ideas. I'll, I'm going to try to organize uh, in your mind. And we're going to see, like, Why do we use it? Se los repito, porque esto fue algo que vimos ayer y yo le expliqué, ¿ok? Lo, alguien nos, nos leyó este, este párrafo ayer y decíamos, present perfect, why do we use it? When we are talking about an event that started in the past, fue algo que Nazario mencionó, started in the past, and the event still has some influence in the present, algo que Rodrigo mencionó, que el pasado tiene algún tipo de influencia en el presente. ¿Ok? Una cosa que inició en el pasado y esa cosa todavía tiene una influencia en el presente, como el ejemplo que nos daba Rodrigo de I have drunk with my friends, como he tomado con mis amigos, pero no fue la única vez, sino que siguieron tomando, ¿ok? <ríe> Ellos siguen tomando. So, it's like an event that started in the past, porque no lo hizo, no lo está haciendo ahorita. Eh, Rodrigo lo hizo, qué sé yo, hace dos semanas, por ejemplo, y todavía lo están haciendo. Entonces, it's like some influence that Event, ese evento que pasó, has some influence in the present. Tiene un tipo de influencia en el presente. Okay, so it's something that you have experienced and you, and it still has an impact on your life. Algo que usted experimentó y que todavía tiene un cierto impacto en su vida. Okay, so look at this. The aim of this sentence is to link the past with the present. Eh, vamos a enlazar, decíamos ayer, conectar, vincular, como le quieran decir. Esto es link, conectar, vincular, enlazar the past with the present. Hacemos un tipo de conexión del pasado con el presente. The focus is on the outcome. Esa es la parte más importante, les decía. The focus is in the outcome. El punto, el objetivo, en la meta está en el resultado de esa acción. ¿Qué es lo que pasó o lo que no pasó? What has happened or hasn't happened? Right, lo que pasó, lo que no pasó. Estamos haciendo una conexión de pasado con presente, pero lo importante es el resultado de esa acción. ¿Qué es lo que pasó, lo que no pasó? Lo que usted ha hecho, lo que él, ella o eso hicieron, lo que tú vas, no, lo que tú hiciste, right? Lo que tú has hecho, más bien, has hecho, um, lo que nosotros hemos hecho, sí, es la manera en que se utiliza el present perfect, ¿ok? Vimos algunos adverbios, decíamos just, that means apenas, already, that means ya, yet, that means todavía, for, that means durante, durante cierto tiempo, por durante, eh, por cierto tiempo, por durante, les digo, por cierto tiempo, since, that means desde, ever, that means alguna vez, para preguntas de que alguna vez has hecho tal cosa, este es el tiempo, ese es el tiempo exacto en el que usted puede preguntar si alguna vez alguien ha hecho tal cosa, ¿ok? Y se utiliza ever, have you ever, para decir como si alguna vez has hecho tal cosa, alguna vez has bailado uh, con un dragón, por ejemplo, have you ever danced with a dragon? 
have you ever danced with a dragon like in La Leyenda de Ang, the last year Bender? Uh, I don't know if you saw it, but I really love it. So uh, there is a part who is Suko with Ang and they are dancing with the with the dragons. So imagine that question like, have you ever, have you ever danced with dragons? ¿Alguna vez has bailado con dragones? Right? Have you ever? ¿Alguna vez? How long that means? ¿Cuánto tiempo? Okay, how long that means quantum time. So this is the, the, the reason why we use the present perfect. Esa es la razón. Y les decía que suena como un yo he, tú has, él, ella, ha, nosotros hemos, ese, a, e, hemos, con H que nosotros utilizamos en el español, es el equivalente a utilizar el auxiliary have and has en este tiempo. So we were talking about this yesterday. We saw the structure, ya vimos la estructura. Decíamos que en positivo se utiliza el sujeto, auxiliar, subject auxiliary, the have or has. Remember, has for he, she, it, have for the other ones. The verb in participle, el verbo en participio, esto es esencial, no se les olvide que el verbo va en participio y que depende del verbo, right? ¿Se acuerdan que los verbos regulares, todos los verbos regulares es el mismo simple past que el simple participle. Pero los verbos irregulares, algunos pueden ser iguales y otros pueden ser distintos. Les poníamos el ejemplo de cut. Por ejemplo, cut es un verbo irregular y su participio también es cut. Se escribe exactamente igual. Y teníamos el ejemplo, por ejemplo, de it. It que es un verbo irregular también. Y el pasado es ate y el participio es eaten. ¿Ok? Cambia. Okay, así que depende del verbo. Estos verbos sí hay que aprenderlos y siempre les recomiendo, yo recomiendo a mis alumnos que se los aprendan lineales, como el presente o su base form, pasado simple, pasado participio y el, y el significado, of course, y el significado, porque tiene que saber qué significa el verbo. Ok. In negative, you use the auxiliary, sub, sorry, the subject, the auxiliary have, have and has and not, hasn't and haven't, Verb in participle and the complement. In questions, you are going to use the auxiliary first, then the subject, then the verb in participle, then the complement. As you can see, it's the same structure as every tense in English. Y la verdad es que es la misma estructura de todos los tenses en inglés y lo único que varía de cada tense es el auxiliar que se usa y el tiempo en el que va conjugado el verbo. Son las únicas, únicas dos cosas que varían en todos los tenses. So, it's very easy. You can see it. It's very easy. Ok, se acuerdan. Sujeto, la persona de quien hablamos, auxiliar, ustedes saben ya cuál es cuál, verbo en participio, que se lo tienen que ir aprendiendo, complemento, ¿ok? Permítanme. Hi, Miss. Hi. Hi, Deborah. Can you, can you hear me? Sí, sí, me escucho. Ok, Miss, uh, I, I had a question. Uh, I know we have to study in the structure, but I would like to know the meaning in Spanish, because... Uh, I had an idea, but I'm not sure about it. ¿Es ah, okay. como la vía? No, es como el E. O he estado. He oh, estado, okay. he comido, he bailado, he caminado, he tomado, he practicado, he finalizado. <laughs> yes. Tú has comido, tú has practicado, tú has corrido. Ella ha practicado. Eh, nosotros hemos comido, nosotros hemos ido, ya, yeah. es, that's the meaning in Spanish, ¿sí? ¿Ubicamos el tiempo? ¿Sí? ¿Sí ¿Se ubicamos Thank el tiempo? Gracias, Miss. My pleasure, my pleasure, ok. At this point, hasta este punto, ¿alguien tiene alguna pregunta? Preguntas antes de que pasemos a la parte práctica. Las partes prácticas. No, teacher, this is the word that I forgot uh, minutes ago, the structure. I remember in positive yeah. that only, I remember in positive only the structure. Uh, the yeah. subject plus uh, have or has plus the very possible plus complement. Yeah. yeah I, I have cleared this part of in positive, but it's really important in negative and in question too. So I have clear for me, I think that it's right. Okay, excellent. Uh, actually, 
Eh, de hecho, usted estuvo, cuando habló, cuando me, me lo dijo, me habló de otro tiempo que también es muy parecido a este porque se llama presente perfecto progresivo. Sí, es un presente perfecto progresivo y creo que no se los voy a dar yo, pero estoy bastante segura que se los tienen que dar en algún momento, un poquito más adelante, eh, porque... Es, es este mismo tiempo, pero en progresivo, ¿ok? Así como el simple past tiene un progresivo, ¿se acuerdan que es el, el past progressive? Tiene un progresivo, este tiempo también tiene un progresivo. Entonces, el, cuando, cuando Nazario nos estaba describiendo el tiempo, estaba describiendo ese tiempo más que este, pero se parecen mucho, son bien parecidos. Y... Um, en, en ese se utiliza el been, siempre, el been, porque es el yo he estado. Sí, yo he estado. Entonces ese estado se convierte en, por ejemplo, yo he estado trabajando y el verbo en progresivo. So it's a little bit different porque el verbo ya no va en participio, sino que es el auxiliar el que va en participio en all of these things. But you're going to see it later. Lo van a ver después. Ahorita aprendámonos el presente perfecto. Ok, so if you don't have any questions about the structure. Ay, ¿por qué no puedo salir? Voy a presentar mi paint. Ok, avísenme cuando puedan ver el paint. Esto es como mi pizarra, mi pizarra virtual. Can you see it? Yes. Yeah. Ok. Yeah. So we're going to do a little questions and answers time. Este va a ser un tiempo de preguntas y respuestas, ¿ok? Para poner en práctica el tense. Con esto no quiero que se les olvide de los verbos que les di ayer. Ayer les di una pequeña lista de verbos que los había puesto en la... En la... En la... Ay, en, en la... En las slides. En las slides. So, you can use it. Lo pueden utilizar también. Ahorita siguen viendo mi paint. Yes. Yes. Ok, ok, ok. Ok. Quiero ver. Permítanme un momentito. Solo les quiero mandar aquí en el chat la lista de verbos para que lo tengan por ahí. En... Y pues se les haga más fácil hacer las preguntas y las respuestas, of course. Ya sabiendo los, los verbos es mucho más fácil hacer preguntas y respuestas. Porque hay una cantidad grande de verbos. Ok, so, se los mandé aquí al grupo de WhatsApp. Ahí lo pueden ver. Esta fue la lista que yo les había puesto ayer. Así que es exactamente la misma. Ok. Y hay como 51 verbos, creo, distintos que pueden utilizar. So we're going to start with the questions and answers time. Yo voy a hacer la primera pregunta, ok, yo para romper el hielo. So I would like to ask, let me see. Um, what have you um, writing in my notebook? Ok, esa es una pregunta abierta. Remember que les mencioné ayer que en las preguntas abiertas, siempre las preguntas con W y H, son las preguntas abiertas, van al principio, siempre, toda la vida. Y después va la estructura normal como ya la conocen, ok. So, who wants to answer this question? ¿Quién quiere responder esta pregunta? Uh -huh. Raise your hand. No one. Don't you want to try? Raúl, okay? Be brave, Raúl. Tell us. Okay. Uh, I have written 
in your notebook uh, sentences about present perfect? I don't know. <laughs> okay, excellent. Yes, yeah, you did it great. Okay, yeah, lo que la teacher lo, lo mandó a escribir dice. <laughs> okay, <laughs> excellent, Raúl. Look at this. I have written in your notebook um, sentences with pa uh, present perfect, okay, with the past participle. Yeah, okay, thank you so much, Raúl. You did it so great, okay? Look at this. Es de seguir la misma estructura y de ponerle el verbo en, pro en, en participio y todo lo demás es pan comido. You can do it. Okay, so Raúl, ya que usted me contestó, will you please ask a question to someone else? Uh, let me see. Um, for example, what uh, what have you what have you played? Uh, what have you played? Uh, I don't know. See, is a qu correct question. Uh, what have you played? Yeah. Like that, just like that, if you want to. Of course, what have you played? Of course, it's good. What have you played? Cumple con todos los, los elementos que tenemos de la estructura. Look at this. Auxiliary, subject, verb and participle. Y no tiene, no tiene complemento, pero, pero se entiende. Se entiende la pregunta. Ok, se entiende qué es lo que está preguntando. Coach. Ya, ya, tell me. Eh, one question. The... This question, I uh, I can I can uh, I can be, for example, what have you played today? Yeah, of course, because today is an adverb. Yeah, es un adverbio de tiempo. Uh, se utiliza para marcar el momento en el que la acción se hizo. Of course, les digo que todos todos los todos los tenses tienen tienen algún tipo de algún Frequency adverb o algún adverb, algún adverbio de tiempo que les, o de frecuencia o que les permita caracterizar el momento en el que pasó. Ok, so yeah, you can say today, of course. Ok, so who wants to answer this? Nazario, ok, Nazario, go. Well, I've seen the answer could be. I have played today soccer. Yeah, of course. I have played soccer today. Yeah, it's good. It's good. Yeah, of course. I have played soccer today. La pregunta era, ¿qué has jugado hoy? ¿Qué has jugado hoy? Y Nazario dice, yo he jugado fútbol. Yeah. Okay. Simple like that. Simple like that, okay? Thank you so much, Nazario, okay? Nazario, your turn, because you answered, tell me a question. Ask a question to your classmates. Okay, where, where have you ever seen the mountain? Okay. That's With correct, the structure. Mountains. mountains. Yeah, of course, where have you ever seen mountains? It's like, ¿dónde has visto alguna vez las montañas? <laughs> I, I, yeah. I remember, teacher, I remember a song of the, let me see, Credence. Have you ever seen the rains in the names of one song? I'm thinking that maybe, you, or you class can may on... hear maybe once. Yeah, you can, you can like, no, 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 I, 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 I'm trying to give you another example. It's, a, it's another question, for example. You can say it like that too. Have you ever seen the mountains and where? <laughs> yeah, como no, se escucha quizás más ordenado. Yeah, yeah but I, 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 I am trying to, to tell you about the, the name of one song of the group, The Doors. And it's called, Have You Ever Seen the Rain? Have you ever seen the rain? It's a group. Yeah, it's, it's, it's the name of a song. The group is called The Doors. The Doors. The Doors, right. Oh my God. Oh, no, I... no, sorry, it's not The Doors, it's Credence. 
No, I haven't. Yeah. <laughs> I, I haven't. Yeah, it's a great, it's a, it's a great season teaching. Okay, Don't worry. I'm, gonna, I'm gonna look for it. I'm gonna look for you, it. You, you, you will, you long. will, you will, you will find in, in YouTube maybe. Okay, thank you so much. Yeah. But this okay. is my, this is my question. Uh -huh. I'm, a que I'm, a, I'm, a, I'm a question is for, let me see. I'm going to show, I'm going to select or choose one You're classmate to teacher. Someone. Okay. Ah, okay. Pick give someone. me, give, give me one number that the name, or oh, give me one name that start with, with letter, with letter C. Do you have? I in the know. Shot? Like, Let me see. Uh, Corina. 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 Corina, you there? Uh, congratulations, <laughs> Corina. Congratulations, Corina. <laughs> yeah, okay. Corina can do it. Corina, you there? Hi. I'm watching the name and I'm maybe watching she's the in name. Here. Yeah, maybe. Okay. I'm going to select or you choose another one. Let me see. Carla Eugenia. Okay, Carla, you there? Hello, Nazaria. Hi, it's good to hear you once again. Okay. Could you please answer this question, Carla? I are seeing the mountain in where um Okay, again, 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 creo que se me trabó el micrófono un poquitito. Otra vez. Uh, I have seen mountain in Xalatenango. Okay, excellent. I have seen mountains in Chalatenango. Okay, excellent. You thank you, program. thank you, classmates. Excellent, good job, Carla. Okay, Carla, thank you so much. Okay, Carla, would you like to ask a question to your another classmate? Mm, okay. Um. You can do it, you can do it. Excuse me, teacher. Excuse me. Uh, uh. Yeah, okay, don't worry, don't worry. If you need my help, tell me. Where, where have? Uh huh. Where have? Where have? Mm -hmm. Uh huh. Choose the subject. Where have? Okay, choose a subject like the balls, the football. Ah, no, excuse me. No, no, the subject, the subject, la persona, la persona de la que estamos hablando. That's the next. Uh -huh. Where have it can be you, me, <laughs> um, she, my mom. Where have you? Mm -hmm. uh, mm -hmm. Choose a verb in possible. You have, where oh. have you been? Okay, just like that. Where have oh. you been this weekend? Okay. Excellent. Where have you been this weekend? It's a good question. Okay. I uh, will delight to choose who is going to answer it. Between your classmates, of course. <laughs> okay. 
you there? Could you please pick someone? Escoja a alguien para que se la responda, right? Julio Rafael Castro de León. Okay, Julio, you there? Yes, teacher, I'm here. Okay, could you please answer this question? Uh, yes. I have been... Wait. Mm -hmm. I have been to my town. At my home, at home. No, to my... I don't know how to say Pueblo. Like at, at my town, you can say at my town. Yeah. Yes. So I have been to my town. At my town. Okay. Town is, is, is Pueblo, right? Town. Okay. Thank you so much. You did it so great. I have been in my town. He estado en mi pueblo. Okay. That's, um, town, that's, town. that was, that was, I'm sorry, <laughs> where <laughs> he has been. I'm sorry, se me trabó la lengua. Okay. Thank you so much, Julio. Julio, could you please ask a question? Yes. Uh, let me, I, I'm thinking. <laughs> okay, oh. yeah, you have a few uh, seconds to do it. Where have you worked the last year? Okay. Excellent. Could you please pick someone? Podría elegir a alguien para que se la responda. Um, Raquel Judith Vázquez. Okay, Raquel, you there? Raquel? No? No. Okay, another one, Julio. Pick someone else. Rodrigo Jose Mendoza. Okay, Rodrigo, you there? Okay. Uh, I have worked the last year in the call center. Excellent. I have worked the last year in a call center. Okay. Thank you so much, Rodrigo. Good job. You are doing fantastic. Okay. Uh, I would like to know if you have any more questions about the questions or the answers. ¿Alguien tiene alguna pregunta acerca de esto que estamos viendo? Please, I need to know. Necesito saber, okay? Si tienen alguna pregunta acerca de las cositas que estamos viendo, uh, necesito que me digan, okay? Si no, vamos a pasar a la actividad de grupo. I think it's sure that the structure is like the, form, the formula for for everyone, for for impossible for question. Uh, if I learn the structure. Sorry, I don't understand again. Yeah, uh, I'm trying to understand the structure. If ah, I you're trying again. Uh -huh. Yeah, if I understand the structure, I got the idea. It, I yeah, think that it's so, so easy. Yeah, yeah. It's like the structure is the, the formula of the simple, yeah. uh, the present perfect. It's like maths. Yeah, y, y como es pura práctica, cuando a medida que vaya pasando el tiempo se vuelve más fácil pronunciarlo. Easily. But yeah, thanks, teacher. My pleasure. Okay, so the question is, what have you done the last month you need to write at least four things okay al menos cuatro cosas que ustedes hayan hecho han hecho el mes pasado okay so i'm going to put you in the breakup rooms go guys Okay, get into the breakup rooms. Remember, hacer todos, todos sus propias ejemplos, please. Todos. 
y compartirlos con sus compañeritos. That's the point. Go, everyone.
Okay, I think we're getting back. Okay, we are all here again. Tell me, guys, who wants to share the exercise? Hi, teacher. Hi, Nazario. Tell me. Uh, we had an interesting uh, conversation with our classmate with Julio, with Denise and Rodrigo. Mm -hmm. <laughs> to be honest with you, we are talking about another things, but in English, don't worry. Okay, okay. <laughs> no, okay. Don't worry, yeah. Because but practicing, they, I, okay. Oh yeah, no, because they say that they have cleared the, the structure. Uh, so I think that we, we can use a, a little bit, uh, we can use a little bit easy, this kind of a structure in order to uh, form the, the questions or in positive. Mm -hmm. But maybe my classmate Rodrigo or Denise had another idea of, of the, conversation that we have okay yeah <laughs> do you have any examples about the question uh yeah i think so have you ever eaten pizza okay yeah okay thank you so much Nazario. is there another volunteer No, no one else? No one else did the exercise? I know you did it. Tell me. Don't be don't be shy. You can tell me. You can talk to me. Coach, I I don't know. For example, I have built my new house the last month. Mm -hmm. And also I I have visited to a uh, to a taco and, and I have been in my job. Okay. Okay, that's it. Thank you. Okay, yeah, I have visited a taco. Um, it's like something that you did a very, um, that you did more than was time, that one time, sorry. And yeah, for example, I have visited um, uh, Parque, El Parque Cuscatlán so many times in this month. Un montón de veces este, este mes. Me encanta el parque. So I really love to go there. And um, it's part of the present perfect, of course. Okay, Are you so ever float t-shirt? I'm from San Salvador, el área metropolitana. And have you ever flown? Ah, pensé que me estaba preguntando where are you from? Um, <laughs> yeah, in a bungee. <laughs> ah, that's wonderful. Good answer. Yeah. Yeah, in a bungee. One, one of the most favorite dreams that I have in my life is one of them. Uh, I, I, yeah, it's true. Oh yeah. my God, I would like to, but I would but like to be on. I think this, this is one of the best dreams that I have in my life. And it's a beautiful, that's wonderful. I, I, I felt the, 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 the top of, of the trees in my hands, imagine. And I, yeah. don't use, and I don't like to use uh, smoke. Have you ever dreamt about it? <laughs> no. Never? No once. Oh my God, I have, yeah. I have, I have, I have dreamed um like to be a barbie like the barbie and fairytopia so i would like to have my my uh, butterflies and flies by the way yeah oh, wonderful <laughs> oh the time left i don't know what happened with the time i think that's an amazing question that you can do in simple in in present perfect perdón siempre me confundo con el nombre del tiempo pero no es present perfect ok qué buena pregunta para hacer en presente perfecto alguna vez es un, has volado right nah, yeah, it's true. <laughs> excellent thank you so much Nazario ok guys I need to know if you have any more questions about the class about the topic of today no everything is clear <laughs> Everything is clear. Okay. So if you don't have any more questions, I'm going to see you tomorrow in class. See you.
Bye. Bye. See you. Have a nice night. Have a good night. Good night. Good night. Bye.